Okay, this is going to be a basic packet tracer tutorial to get you started with packet tracer and get you familiar with the interface and how it works. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a little quick local area network, a little LAN here. And to do that I'll click on end devices and I'll grab a PC, drag it to the workspace, right? Then I'll go to switches and I'll just grab this um, I'll grab a generic or a 2960 switch. Let me grab this 2960 switch and place it right there. So click, click. So now I've got a PC and I've got a switch. And then I'm going to go back to end devices and I'm going to grab this server right here and just drag the server out, right? Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll connect these together and then we'll run some tests between the client and the server, right? Okay, so um, from a PC to a switch is a straight through cable. So I'll click on the cables and I'll look for a straight through cable. There it is. Click on it. And then I'll click, attach it to the Ethernet, drag it over, click, and attach it to the first Ethernet port on this switch, right? So now I've got my, my PC connected to my switch, and now I've got to do my server. My server to the switch is also straight through cable. So we'll just do that. Okay, go to the next port available. All right. So right now we've got a um, LAN here. And what I want to do is, is I want to be able to have these guys communicate with each other. So to do that, I've got to give them some IP addresses. So right here, these are just labels. I'm going to show you what IP addresses I'm going to give them. And this guy's going to be 192.168.1.254. So our server will be 1.254. And our PC, whoops, I'm just, I'm just changing the label here. 192.168.1.100 okay so now I'm gonna give them those IP addresses so I go to the server pop it open go to config okay and I will go to interface fast Ethernet right here let me pull that open a little bit for you notice it's on right MAC address static IP address so right here 192.168.1.254 and subnet mask and we're done okay so I've got this guy's IP address set I can close this window and I can go to the next one to the PC here and I'll pull this in and I'll set up his Ethernet address so I'll click on Ethernet and 192.168.1.1 oops 100 and subnet mask and that's good right and so you can see that's on so I've given him an IP address so now both of these computers have um, this computer and this server both have the IP address I should be able to ping across and let's test that so I'll click on this computer I'll go to desktop click on command prompt and run a ping command and let's test it and you can see I'm getting a reply so our addressing worked out I can ping from the PC to the server okay now that we've established that we can ping from this PC to the server let's try something else we'll go to the server here and you can see the server has all these um, services right it's got a web server built in right notice HTTP web server is on here's the home page right this is the HTML for the home page we'll go to um, well anyway FTP go to FTP server notice it's on and there's a user built in for it but we'll create a user for it so I'll say student and then password student right and then I'll give it um, read permissions, right? You could say, look at this one's read, write. So you could say read and write permissions, okay? Um, and then I'll hit plus. And now there's an additional FTP user built into our FTP server. Username um, student, password student, all right? I'll turn the FTP server off. Maybe I'll turn it back on again. Fine. Notice the web server, HTTP server, is on right so we could test these things out from our client so I'll close this 
and I'll open up the client. Right, we're exploring. This is Packet Tracer exploring. This is fun. Right? So first of all, let's test out the web server. So we'll go here, we'll open up our fake web browser or like our virtual web browser, Packet Tracer web browser, and we'll type in the IP address, 192.168.1.254. That is the address of the um, server. And I hit go, and boom, there's the web page. Cisco Packet Tracer, right? Worked. All right, so close that. Now we'll do something else. We'll open up Command Prompt. We'll see if we can FTP to it, right? I've got the command from before. Down here I'll say FTP 192.168.1.254, right? Hit Enter, and boom, welcome to um, the FTP server username. Student, hit Enter. Password, student, hit Enter, and you're in, right? I've FTP'd in. So that worked. So that is just a little sample of what's happening. Now, what you could do also, and this, um, I tried to exit, buy, quit. There we go, quit. So um, what also what we could do is, when we do stuff like this, we can open up this mode right here, and we can actually capture some of those packets going back and forth across across the networks. In other words, we can hit capture, right? Auto capture. Then we can FTP across, and then we can examine the packets just like as if you were using Wireshark. You can even place packets onto the network and test them out. All right. 